But okay, let's sit back down. Let me explain something to you. Oh, are these lives? That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. No, 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 no. Uh, if you make another, I must sacrifice you. Like a stoat, for example. You know, just coming up with a random example off the top of my head. Like you would murder a stoat in cold blood, kind of like that. Now, where were we? Okay, at least I, I gotta draft some more cards. Whoop whoop. The mark is smart. Well, then <laughs> we drown him with hydrates. <laughs> no, I definitely would be in trouble. Especially since I'm so dehydrated in the usual sense. So if I was also chugging back shots, oh boy. We'd already be in not remembering territory, I'm afraid to admit. Let's see, we get a pick from three. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Okay, one, two, sacrifice one. Gotcha. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Oh yeah, we were just playing super auto pets. I know how skunks work. Yeah. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. So we already have wolves in our deck. Wait, why are you marked though? Do I get like a free weight? Those look like the weights, right? But okay, let's see. Stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Power is attack from my interpretation of the word based on other card games I've played, but I could be wrong there. And sharp quills. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. So we got some um, thorn ability there. Okay. There's a reason for that, but you can't tell me right now it's not a weight. <laughs> So it's not a tooth, right? Hold up. You. It does woogle, though. You love the stinky power, to be honest. I like the idea, especially since it just makes the opponent um, impotent, and then you don't have to remove the card. You can just leave it there as a placeholder, if that's how it works. If it does take up the slot, like kind of permanently. Now I'll click as soon as you get what it relates to. <laughs> Sounds good. No. Be, be careful making predictions like that with me, because it is truly incredible what my dumb brain can uh, can miss out on, can over overlook. But yeah. I think I want Skunk or Porcupine, because I need more one sacrifice cards. Skunk with the health is actually good. Because I need something to live long enough to become a sacrifice, in the future at least. Then let's see, we have fire or... Oh, this was altar. Do I want altar again? So I can look at my cards by double pressing W. I could put endless on something else. That seems kind of cool. Can things have two sigils? Took you forever to figure out that thing is Tor, so if you want a hint it's relevant to or when it's relevant, you'll let me know. Sounds good. And yeah, the, the stinking power on the snapping turtle would make it the ultimate blocker. Definitely. Pretty incredible stuff. But I think I want to put this endless on someone. Beep the stoat. <laughs> and sigil sigil stack as much as you want. Okay, I'm going to alter. It's rough because the cat is hard to uh, replace with like a two sacrifice, it won't work out. I could make skunk stacked up and then eventually we sacrifice the skunk onto the stoat. <laughs> you know? It's, it's unbeatable. So it's either going to be stinky on like the river snapper or the stoat. I guess we did get a call for beefing the stoat, so how can I refuse? I like endless on one of the stronger things later on, later down the road, I think. When we have more single cost cards and then we put this on like a two sacrifice beefcake and then that beefcake can stay out there hitting for their damage while also being a constant sacrifice. So let's go skunk and we'll put it on. Oh, I can't put it on the stoat. So st sigils stack, but I can't do it with the altar here. In that case, River Snapper, I guess. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> Definitely. 
Your cat is more of an engine to, to get your beef out. Sigil stack, your choices are randomly available. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I guess they would run out of room eventually. Don't always get what you want, good to know. But okay, I guess we're going for the beefy snapper here. <laughs> Very stinky river snapper. You stinky river snapper. <laughs> Riot from maps. <laughs> yes, we're on the verge, we're on the cusp. However, stinky snapper isn't bad. Can I get up from the table anytime? Oh my gosh, I can. Wait, give me, let me carry this. I want to see what's over here. There's something scary, I know it. Oh my gosh. Anytime you aren't in battle, you can get up. Okay, it makes sense. That's what I was guessing. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing there except darkness. <laughs> oh, you can't fool me. There's something. There's the, the secret to eternal life, maybe. So we got a grand fur. Mighty Leap, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. So we got like reach, okay. We have a four six, what the heck is even that? Four six grizzly bear coming out. Um, I don't like. For now, we do squirrel, we do cat, kill the squirrel, put down the cat. Okay does four damage, which means our river snapper survives one hit down to two health. Oh, and then Stinky doesn't save us. I was hoping Stinky would outpace. Huh. Well, time to get smacked for four. Uh, oh wait, am I just, okay, I don't instantly lose, that's good. Yeah, Sting will bring down one attack. That's what I, I was afraid of. But okay, for now I need more squirrels. Snapper can take two bear hits, that's true. So could it still uh, alleviate some of the issues? I need to get some damage out here. But if I don't block that, we lose. So. Let's see, wolf dies after having the health. Yeah, let's go with the red snapper. I mean, river snapper, of course. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, wait, stinky... Oh, opposing loses one power. For some reason, I thought in my head that when they hit, they, like, stink up the place. But it's just a... What's the word I'm looking for? An automatic effect? A passive. A passive effect on their row. That's good to know. Okie dokie. We survive a little bit longer, so that's nice. Might have to sacrifice you. Alternatively, we leave you to block one more turn, and we bring the wolf in with a... No, I want stoke me. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Are you silent or I will tear you to shreds? Not my stoat. No, you wouldn't. Oh, but stout's a single sac. Holy crap. Big stout OP. This spot, you're- sh shut up. You're making me look bad in front of my friends. Um, yes, I'm sure. Jeez Louise. Everyone's a critic, eh? We could swap out a river snapper for a wolf. Would that be worth it? Get you down to two damage. Puts a downer though. Stout is rude as heck. But also trust the stout. And drink more stout as well. Oh, like a nice milk stout. Maybe a bit of a, a chocolatey undertone to the entire thing. Huh. I guess I pass for now. We're dealing some damage, you get bigger. We can get a squirrel to sacrifice next turn to bring in a wolf. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, something from Left Hand Brewing, nice. Yeah, great choice. No, I don't say that just as a, a left-hander myself, but also because they're a great brewery, at least from what I remember. I don't think I've tried too many of their beers, but Oh, I should know. I used to know where Left Hand Brewing was out of, too. I worked at um, a really nice, like, liquor store for a while out of high school. So I used to know a lot of fancy things. Also, wait, I can just sacrifice a squirrel, right? Like, in the old-fashioned sense of the word, to just let it die here instead of sacrificing my wolf. What, can I see what I've left in here? No, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be greedy, friend, whatever your name is. 
I'm just trying to, please, please. No, no, okay. Hit W a bunch? No. I was hoping to see what was left in my deck. I think just another wolf though, right? That makes sense. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how this works. So I think it works out in my favor. We just have to keep blocking the grizzly with squirrels and we win, right? No need, no ifs, and or buts about it. No need to get too fancy. We deal five damage, we don't win. So I shouldn't do a sack everything play yet. Just the squirrel wall. You shall not surpass the squirrel wall. Do we have a limited number of squirrels though? Because if so, I'm slightly concerned. Also, oh wait, I just realized we can't get rid of the cat if we wanted to. So we can't actually cheese this by putting down a wolf and winning this turn. Okay. Good to know. Remember the heart is health and claws attack, definitely. Let's see. You're hungry for squirrel. Yeah, a little gamey, but otherwise, I mean, if there's meat on the bone, what can I say? It seems like a, a great choice. We do, but we have enough to get through this round. Yeah, I think we'll be okay here. That's something about infinite sacrificers. They can clog up the board. Yes. Can find ourselves in a, uh, a pit of our own design, unfortunately. So I'm trying to think. I haven't seen any numbers yet. I'm looking for a time or three digits. I guess not three digits. Three numbers of any amount of digits. Also three numbers single digit for the safe because I think each of the dials went zero to nine. Maybe one to nine. Something like that somewhere in the midst. Um, as for here, fireplaces usually mean healing, which I probably should relight my candle, but there's a, a sack of stuff over here. So what can I say? Maybe the person, the shadow man's, read me like a book when they called me greedy. Maybe that was a fair assessment. Ah, a watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. So here's our first reach. Cool. You also remember how you open the clock? It just happens sometime. Oh, that's fun. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Indeed, yeah, grizzlies, surprisingly huge and surprisingly fast for their size. I've seen one run at a full tilt before. Jeez Louise, is that a, a frightening thing if you ever found yourself in front of a... But three sacrifices is a little pricey, a little bit steep for me. I feel like Bullfrog is kind of good just so it uh, gives me some defense because Flyers is what completely wrecked me. I could also potentially give something flying in the future, which seems kind of cool. Let's do it. I might be building a bit of a, a weenie deck here, but we'll see how it all plays out. There are two secrets in the clock. Interesting. Also, right, not flying. It jumps in the way of Flyers. It, it leaps, of course. No, that's my bad. <laughs> One day I'll get the, the nomenclature straight on this thing. Okay, but we'll get some more stuff. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Okay, so it gives everything flying. Cool. A rock may get you out of a hard place. I see what you did there. Okay. And, oh, choose one. Oh, no. I thought I... Sir, I thought I got these all. Um, hmm. I don't like boulder because it blocks a spot and I can't do anything with it. Because I don't believe I can sacrifice this. It might be different because we're playing it in this situation. But it feels like the pain is part is part and parcel of the sacrifice, right? Oh, we get multiple shots though. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You vote the flying thing? We'll take it. We get multiple shots here. Um, I don't know if I ever want to take the players again. Now that I actually know what they do, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, let's go. Pliers are good in a pinch and good at pinching teeth. Ah, well, there's a win-win if I ever heard one. And having a free squirrel is a great way to get out of tight spots. I always recommend having one on top. Yeah, I think that's huge. Gets you the sacrifice if you need it, but also can just take the hit, right? Traumatized, gonna have one of those teeth falling out dreams. Oh, I hope not. That's like one of the few nightmares that I consistently have is teeth related malfunctions and issues. 
wake up in the morning and just immediately stick my tongue to feel all my teeth and breathe a huge sigh of relief because those dreams feel super real each and every time. So with that in mind, let's take some pliers. Yeah, why not? That seems cool. Um, feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on. You hear that? Those teeth nightmares are the worst. Yeah, no, it's just, and it's relatively reoccurring. It's happened multiple times, at least not like on a daily basis or anything. Oh my gosh, please no. But definitely had my fair share of uh, interesting teeth related trauma in my nightmares. But okay, we have like a miner or something. Is this a boss? Oh, cool. Oh, I like the ambiance a lot. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's that's a, a good look, friend. Yeah. Hey, how it was the prospector? You're less threatening when I give you a silly voice, so let's let's do that. <laughs> I hope I'm ready for this. It's time. Nightmare fuel indeed. You're not sure what the mask makes you laugh every time. It's so goofy. It's so wild. Okay, we have a pack mule and a coyote. Pack mule has something. Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So you'll skip the coyote and move here, I'm guessing? At the end of the owner's turn. Coyote's hitting down here. We have cat. I don't want cat to die. So let us whirl. Hit. This will be our operative space from now on. Let's double check. No, I cannot. Hey, thanks. Boulder cannot be sacrificed. What, what a good uh, evil overlord here. So nice, so kind to uh, let me know how it works. I guess this is where we end now? I'm not sure. Yeah. I almost read the same chat comment out loud again because I'm dumb. Wait, what, what happened? You didn't move, you were pinned. Okay, interesting. Well, yeah, you stay right there, bud. And I will take Quirrell. So it's not Clash, it's Smack. So let's Squirrel, Wolf, yada yada, Smack uh, right there. Oh, what are you getting? An adder. So death touch behind the boulder. That's fine. It'll take you forever to chunk through that son of a gun. Oh gosh, it's... <laughs> the creepy music is picking up. Oh no. <laughs> oh, and I made room for the, the mule to actually move this time. Interesting. Oh, death touch works on boulders. <laughs> Who knew venom could flow through a boulder? You learn something new every day. Huh. So would I rather get another squirrel to bring out a second wolf? Let's reread this. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. If I deal damage to the adder, I don't perish, though. So I'm gonna take a squirrel. Bop. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Maybe I should take the free damage and try and get ahead while I'm at it. That's too late now. Let's do it. On a boulder? What? Right? I know, insta killing the boulder? I mean, I didn't even know they had veins, but... Hey, maybe the science just isn't there yet. Maybe it's one of the great mysteries of the world. Um, but I draw here. He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. Wait, what do you mean? What? The mule's key to what? Do I need to kill the mule? Does this even matter? Sir? I have questions that need answered. Okay. Yeah, better find that okay. Gosh darn stoat. So we deal a lot of damage there. Not quite enough. Oh, I should have paid attention to the wolf being there. Wait. Did you? No, that was my card flipping to its stronger state. Never mind. We cool. We cool. We're all good here. So I can kill the mule. Is that what you want? Look under the mule. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. 
What's under the mule? It's key. I'm hoping you mean that in the literal sense, and it's a key? For now, let's play this semi-safe. I'm gonna use a squirrel, even though it might not be necessary. Slap you down, sack sack, kill a coyote. You hope to never say this again, but use that stone. <laughs> oh, we do what we must. In, in times of trouble, sacrifices must be made. What are you? Wait, what? I get it. Dang, nabbit. Wait, no, that's not. Dang, nabbit. Was that the voice I gave the prospector? I'm real. Something like that. <laughs> Who knows? So this gave me a bunch of cards? Mistakes were made. Wait, what? No, no, no. Mistakes were not made. Everything was above board. We're cool. We're hip. We're with it. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, so I can double sacrifice into something. Let's see. Let's look at my hand. You move to four. Ah, that kills a wolf. Right? Oh, whoops, no, hold up, hold up. Chill for a second. Do we have lethal? Probably. I'm gonna play as if we didn't, just in case. I'm not putting it past this game to have a sneaky backup plan to a uh, whole defeat from the jaws of victory. Let's try it out. Okay, not quite lethal, almost there. You wouldn't put out a lethal this turn? It's too late. Oh no. What am I missing? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> Take the last card from our deck. Got a squirrel. And, um... I mean, you three are all smacking. So ideally we win this, but I feel like it's a trap now. And that is frightening. Sack a squirrel to put it a bullfrog. Okay, I believe in you, Elder Stoat. Do the Lord's work. Come on. Oh, I see. Interesting. I guess that's fair. I have multiple candles. You think you are noticing something important? He does not have critical information. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I did think it was going to be that easy. I did think. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. This doesn't get to be Prospector Voice. This is Shadow Man's. There's gold in them cards. There we go. That's Prospector. Um, wait. Oh, okay, I just have to click to pass. Oh, oh, wait. No, stop. Stop. No, my, my stoat. No, <laughs> sir. Ah. Crack up. Gold. We've struck gold. I'm so, I'm so happy for you, friend. That That's so cool and, and nifty. Very sweet. Um, Bloodhound with Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed off sit in an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Um, oh, okay, okay, this part hurts your heart every time. Uh, can I leave the table? SSSS, step back, please, sir. Huh. Can I not even sacrifice these? Like... I'm out of space, there's no room. Oh, of course. Okay, end my turn. This seems like a good spot to end my turn. I swear you'll leave for now, Babs. We'll watch you later, but have fun. Stoat is life. I'll try and keep that in mind. Stoat is life. Very important, crucial bit of information there. But thanks for, for watching for a bit, Babs. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, the VODs will be around. It'll get shipped to YouTube eventually, I'm sure, too. Hmm. Well, squirrel goes there, I guess. Oh, and there's an adder involved? Cool. Very, very nifty. Very sweet. Can I win this? I have to deal one, two, three, four, five damage. I really like, by the way, I don't think I've taken the moment to describe. I love the scales. Like, the relative damage instead of just hit points is super cool. Very interesting, and I think it has a lot of places it could go. So I could replace you. But nothing survives. The Bloodhound. Okay. I think we need some patience here. Do, do, 
do. Porcupine at least makes progress. This is true. But nothing else is coming down. That gives me hope. Even if it's a uh, completely unwarranted hope. Yeah, you can't move there. Spot's taken. Then I'm gonna bullfrog. Kill this adder. As long as you don't play too many more cards, it's not all over yet. Uh, okay, you do have more cards to play. That's not great. Okay, one damage per turn is not going to cut it. You don't break through the gold nugget right away, so that's good. Pokemon would make progress, but it would die. Yes, it would die. Hmm. Oh, but I guess with that and Bullfrog together, we could have killed it. Regardless, Squirrel, you're a champ. Thanks for taking those hits for me. It would die, but remove the dog. Yeah, it deals two damage, so it needed assistance from somewhere, right? Unfortunately. Also, it's good to note that it's okay to die. We'll probably be doing it quite a bit. Oh, yes, I'm sure we will. But, okay, squirrel. Go, go, gadget squirrel. I think I keep porcupine to block. Oh, you're going to be a real wolf. Oh, crap. Okay, one damage this turn. Yeah, let's just pass and see what happens. I can do math in a moment here. We can kill the wolf. Oh, wait, I'm out. No. I have a limited number of squirrels, but, but sir, I had a plan. The supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. What? Repulsive. If a creature would attack the card bearing the sigil, it does not. Huh. So I just lose here. For sure. <laughs> Good sacrifice for a, a porky. Let's do it, because it at least uh, kills starvation, right? Maybe? Yeah, we did it. We killed starvation with some thorns. Hurrah! Victory! Oh, wait, pliers wouldn't have won that, right? We were at. No, we were a couple away. <laughs> Again, it's good to kill starvation. Oh, wow. We'll find a way to do anything, just because it's physically impossible. I say nay to this. But okay, so we will lose here. What you gonna do? Oh gosh, the clanking got louder. Oh no, no, sir, no, no. Oh boy, that's a, that's a shiver down the spine for sure. Wait. Was that the door? Am I, like, over someone's shoulder? My new victim? Oh, never mind. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Could have befooled me, but okay. Though you may think of it that way. Okay, read me like a book. You knew exactly what I was going to say. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. No. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. <laughs> Creepy, but okay. Here are some cards from your mediocre d deck. Okay, rude, but okay. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. No matter what, it's two cost, okay. Cost of two blood from the wolf. Doesn't seem great. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. River Snapper. Yeah. Did we get like a custom card here? We can now choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. I get endless. Ooh. The sigil of many lives from the cat. Yes, please. One of those, please. Thank you. Never did ask you your name. Oh, oh me? I don't see how this could possibly come back to bite me in the butt. I'll give you my name. It's not like names have power or anything like that. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. One second. One second. Okay. Oh, I don't need to. Okay, fine. I won't smile. Dick.
rude. But okay, didn't realize this was a passport photo. Thought it was just like for funsies. Kind of cute. Death, I guess, maybe is not the best time for the for funsies, 